Hello and welcome back to the next mathematical symbol, which is the d'Alembert operator denoted by such a box. You might already know, mathematicians often use this box to denote the end of a proof, but here we will talk about another usage of this symbol, namely we talk about a differentiable operator. Indeed, this d'Alembert operator is often used for applications in physics. More precisely, it's often used as a differentiable operator when we have three dimensions in space and one dimension in time. Because then we are able to combine some second order partial derivatives. First we have the one with respect to the time variable t minus the ones with respect to the spatial variables. And they are simply put into the Laplacian, the three dimensional Laplace operator. So there I should know, this is simply the sum of three partial derivatives. And you see, usually we call the three dimensions in space x1, x2 and x3. Hence what happens here is that we connect space and time, so the d'Alembert operator is used when you want to describe something in space-time. For this reason, the units where we measure space and time should coincide and therefore the speed of light should occur somewhere. Indeed, often we just put it in front of the time derivative. So you find 1 over c squared there, where c stands for the speed of light. Ok, there we have it, this is the meaning of the box when we use it as a differentiable operator. And then I would say, let's meet in the next video about mathematical symbols. Bye!